This episode is everything you need to know about the European wildcat. As a bonus, stay tuned until the end of this video to find out about the legend of the Scottish wildcat. The wildcat fur varies from a brownish to grey colour, their fur being longer than a domestic cat. They have five stripes on the forehead and a dark stripe from the shoulders down their spine up to the base of the tail. They have irregular dark stripes on their sides. Wildcat tails are significantly stouter and more bushy than a domestic cat, with two or three black rings and a black tail tip. To the untrained eye, they could be mistaken for a domestic tabby. The following illustrations detail some of the key differences between a domestic cat and a European wildcat. First of all, here are the features on a wildcat to look out for. And here are the key differences between the wildcat and a domestic cat. The wildcat's natural habitat is broad-leaved forests. Wildcats in Scotland have had to adapt to live in a variety of habitats due to deforestation. They do, though, avoid human-inhabited areas. Based on trail cam footage conducted between 2010 and 2013, it is estimated that there may only be up to 300 or so individuals left in the wild. Wildcats use a variety of environments as dens, including rock cairns, logging piles, tree roots, old fox dens, and badger sets, or even rabbit warrens. They are sexually mature at one year old and typically have a single litter in early spring. If, however, the first litter is lost, they will have a second litter midsummer. Females give birth to up to eight kittens, albeit the average is three to four. The kittens leave their mothers at five to six months old. Wildcats predominantly feed on small mammals such as birds, reptiles, fish, and small mammals such as rabbits and voles. The wildcat is typically larger than a domestic cat. Males weigh up to eight kilograms, but average five kilograms. Females weigh on average three and a half kilograms. Only 7% of wildcats in Scotland live beyond six years in the wild. The maximum age for females in the wild is observed to be 10 years and 8 years for males. They can live up to 15 years in captivity. They have no natural predators, although their dens are subject to predation by other mammals. So what is the Highland Tiger? Well, some wildcat conservation organisations in the UK claim there is a Scottish wildcat subspecies of the European wildcat as there is circumstantial evidence that historically the Scottish variant was significantly larger than its European cousins. At least one of these organisations promotes folk tales of this Scottish variant being large enough to kill a human, whilst the folk tales romanticise the wildcat as the epitome of the wild spirit of the Highlands. Unfortunately, from a scientific viewpoint, whether there is or ever was any basis for this Scottish subspecies is impossible to prove and deemed a rather weak argument by scientists given the natural variability of the wildcat characteristics in the UK and across the rest of Europe. So in conclusion, the tales of Scottish tigers are highly unlikely to have any basis in reality. Only a handful of wildcats remain in the UK and as their colloquial name suggests, are located in the Scottish Highlands. Current initiatives to try and recover the species are focused on captive breeding programmes and then releasing them into the wild. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has logged the wildcat as critically endangered in the UK, but least concern from a global conservation viewpoint.